Hi, welcome to my channel, As Real As It Gets. My name is Azrael, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the history of call barriers. The history of call barriers go a long way back in time. The earliest recording of a call barrier was September 19, 208 AD, who was named, I'm going to butcher it, but I'm going to try my best, Otanis Diadumenias. Diadumenias. I'm pretty sure I messed that up. Otanis was also featured on a woman coin. Thomas R. Forbes wrote a journal called The Social History of the Call. You can find it at the Yale Medical University Library. Many different cultures believe that the call was destined by providence. In Ireland, people believe call barriers are lucky and magically powerful. The Dutch African slaves in West Indies also believe call barriers could see and talk to spirits. Many different cultures generally believe that call barriers were clairvoyant. In 1874, calls, which is the amniotic sac that is found covering the baby's head, were sold to the sailors who believed they would not drown if they carried the call. Old wives would inspect the call and tell the baby's fortune. White, red, or colorist calls gave a good fortune, while black or lead color calls meant that you would be unlucky and hunted by evil spirits. Historically, there were documented stories found mostly during 14th through the 17th centuries of battles between good and evil calls. Good and evil calls would go into war in order to protect the crop outcomes and power over the land. However, innocent bystanders were hurt during that time. And with that, stories and fear began to spread when it came to the call barriers. There were also witch huntings and witch trials. And they would also burn call barriers at the stake and accuse them of being witches and using witchcraft and sorcery you can also find more information just by simply googling and also investing in a book now i'm not sponsored however i have i personally have this handbook for myself and it has helped me immensely i'll try to find the link and put it in the description box down below for you to find you can definitely find more information on these stories within that book. I notice that in this age of information, there is a lot more information about call barriers than there used to be in the past. Back then, I couldn't really find too much information on call barriers, but now you can find a lot of information on the internet and books. Well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. If you have any other information or history that I left out, go ahead and comment down below. I'm definitely interested. I love doing research on call barriers and the history. Therefore, the more information, the merrier. Well, it was nice talking to you. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.